Hi there and welcome to this day in history for October 26. October 26 is the 299th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 66 days remaining until the end of the year. And today we're going to go back to the year 1609 to start when the English American settler William Sprague, co-founder of Charlestown, Massachusetts, was born on this day in 1609. Interestingly, he died on his birthday, October 26th. 26, in 1675, the day he turned 66. On this day in 1774, the First Continental Congress adjourned in Philadelphia. In 1825, the Erie Canal opened, allowing direct passage from the Hudson River to Lake Erie. That is a remarkable feat of engineering, by the way, if you haven't been up there. Sometime when you're up north, the Erie Canal. In 1865, American businessman Benjamin Guggenheim was born. He died in the sinking of the Titanic in 1912 at the age of 48. 1902, American activist Elizabeth Cady Stanton died on this day. She was 86. In 1911, American gospel singer Mahalia Jackson was born on this day. She had a rich contralto voice and was referred to as the Queen of Gospel. She was also heralded internationally as a singer and civil rights activist. She recorded about 30 albums in her career, and her 45 RPM records included a dozen golds that would be million sellers. She said, I sing God's music because it makes me feel free. It gives me hope. With the blues, when you finish, you still have the blues. She died in 1972 at the age of 60. In 1921, the Chicago Theater opened. On this day in 1936, the first electric generator at Hoover Dam went into full operation. Another feat of engineering. On this date in 1945, American actress, producer, and businesswoman Jacqueline Ellen Smith, better known as Jacqueline Smith, was born on this date. Still alive, she turns 74 today, although you wouldn't guess that by looking at her. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jacqueline Smith. 1946, American TV personality, former weatherman and talk show host, perhaps best known as the host of the TV show Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak was born on this date in 1946. He turns 73 today. Happy birthday, Pat Sajak. In 1967, New Zealand Australian singer, songwriter, and record producer, best known for his work in country music, Keith Urban was born on this date in 1967. He turns 52 today. In 1970, Muhammad Ali boxes for the first time after Ali's three-year hiatus due to draft evasion. In 1977, American actor and producer John Heater was born on this date, perhaps best known for his starring role in the 2004 movie Napoleon Dynamite. He has acted in a number of other movies and provided voice talents for several animated projects. He turns 42 today. Happy birthday, John Heater. In 1994, Jordan and Israel sign a peace treaty. And just as I read that, I realized I know someone named Jordan and someone named Israel, but I don't think they're acquainted, so. In 1999, American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and actor with a lengthy discography of albums and singles, Hoyt Axton died on this day in 1999 at the age of 61. In 2001, the United States passed the USA Patriot Act into law. And this is a pretty short read today. We're going to let that wrap it up for us today, October 26th. As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And feel free to share this video if you found it interesting or informative. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. On October... On October, okay, with the notifications, blah, 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 coffee mug. <laughs> I forgot to mic check, but I think it'll work okay. That doesn't say much. Okay, well, never mind that then. Is that right? See, I dictated it, and the dictation misunderstood what I said. Okay, and looked every minute of it. I didn't say that. <laughs> Sure would be nice if I could ever read one of these in its entirety without having to start anything over. That would be awesome. 
I might have to take another look at that. I'm going to have to look at that. So, plumbing happens. <laughs> This is why I don't do live shows. 